Well, hello, Real Life family. Due to recent growth in church attendance, we need to add a second Sunday service again. And I'm excited to announce that on October 2nd, we're launching an evening worship service, which will begin each week at 6.30 p.m. And you may ask, why Sunday night? Well, for a few reasons. One, we have several professionals in our church who have to work on Sunday mornings and others who work the night shift, making it difficult for them to attend morning worship. It's our desire to provide those members the opportunity to participate in corporate worship on the Lord's Day. Two, we hope to reach more students on EKU's campus. Many of them go home on the weekends. They return sometime on Sunday afternoon. And so we just expect that they'll be able now to be a part of our real-life family. Three, on Sunday mornings, we have numerous members who serve in uh, ministry within our church, like children's ministry, security team, or other ministries that preclude them from attending general worship service. We want those people to be able to hear the Sunday message and to have the ability to assemble with other believers every single Lord's Day. Four, many people in our church visit out-of-town family members on the weekends, and often they arrive home on Sunday afternoons, and so we just hope these congregants will be able to attend on Sunday evenings. And five, we've had numerous people outside of the church contact us looking for Sunday night services in the area as they seem to be a thing of the past. And so we hope to minister to all those people as well. Evening services will be similar to Sunday mornings, but different. What do I mean? Well, evening services will be similar to Sunday mornings in that the messages will be the same. It is essential that our members grow in the Lord together which can only happen if they are hearing the same preached word. Evening services will be different uh, than Sundays in a few different ways. For starters, we're going to enjoy uh, a meal at 6.30 together in the fellowship hall. You know, there's just something about breaking bread together uh, with other believers. It, it tends to build community in a really profound way. Two, the evening worship times will be different than Sunday mornings in that we will conduct the entire service in the fellowship hall, at least until we outgrow that space. Three, the service structure will be slightly different than Sunday mornings in that they will be a one-hour service, and they'll look like this. We're going to start with a message followed by uh, just one or two songs that we'll sing together, and they'll have a kind of an acoustic feel, and then we're going to partake in the Lord's Supper. For the last 10 or 15 minutes, I'm excited about this, we're going to take time to pray around our tables, to make space for discussion questions based around the sermon. And so evening services will be similar to Sunday mornings, but a bit different. Let me give you just a few bits of closing information. We will provide child care for children five years old and under only. Older kids, they're welcome to stay in the fellowship hall with their parents. In October, the youth group will change their meeting times from Wednesdays to Sunday evenings. They're going to meet during the service, which will allow more students to attend because we're not competing with uh, school sports and other school activities. And finally, we need many, many volunteers to make this happen. We need kids workers, greeters, ushers, people to prepare the meals. So if you're going to uh, volunteer, if you're willing to volunteer, you can sign up at the church over the next few Sundays. Uh, you can see me or one of our other leaders. And if you have questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can do that at info at myrealchurch.org. Excuse me, myrealchurch.org. So we're excited that this is going to be happening soon. We're excited to add a second service. We're excited to have an evening service. Remember, they start October 2nd at 6.30 p.m. Would you be in prayer that uh, this would help us in our mission to equip people to be real followers of Jesus? God bless you. Have a great day.